Hi everyone, as it's been a while since I've done a LogSeq video, I thought I would do one just to showcase my reading list and how I've set it up and how you can do the same or something similar with a few steps. Um, what this will look at is it will look at templates, page properties and queries so that then you can create something very similar to this in a few easy steps. So let's get started. So to do that, we'll just go to a fresh LogSeq and we will just create a new page and we'll call it template. I just find it easier just to have a page for templates just so that I can have them all in one place and I don't have templates dotted all over the place. And what I like to do is I like to call mine books and then we'll put a couple of subheadings called meta and then we'll do shift enter and I like to have type and typically I'm reading books, so I just have the book tag. You can leave it blank and then as you're reading, you fill it in with an article or anything along those lines. Status. So this I'll leave blank. Um, and what I typically do here is I will have things like reading, read, um, recommended, to be read, etc. to be to review my annotations, anything like that, just so that I know at what status it's at. I then like to have one for the cover. And what we'll do in this case, we'll just insert a few things. So uh, exclamation, square bracket, image, um, parentheses, a couple of spaces. And then what I like to do is I also like to have the size of it already, just so that then I don't need to resize the image every single time. And I'll show you a way that I get all of my images fairly quickly, or my cover books. Uh, I found 17298, this was from Felipe, uh, he's part of the Discord and Twitter. He recommended this size and actually works quite well. So kudos to him and thank you. Um, title. This is just the title of the book, author, I like to have a link as well and what I typically, where I typically source them from is Goodreads, not Goodroads, um, and this is again just so that I can, for prosperity, um, I know where to look if I want to see what the book was about, if see any reviews, see any comments five years down the line or whatever it might be. Um, it's just an easy place where I can link it rather than having to then Google it or whatever websites, web search we will have at that time. I like to have a start date, an end date, and a year of when I've read it. Um, you can have genre or any other thing. The easiest is test it out with a few books, see if it works, see what's superfluous, see what's missing. And then add it in, try and add it in as early as possible because it's quite, it's easier to go to insert it and then go forward rather than retrospectively having to add something in on who knows how many pages. Um, and then just to get these, it's just shift, shift enter. And what I've done is I've just put a space after each of, um, of the properties just to make it when I'm filling it in from, a, from the page, it's already got the space and I don't need to worry about it. And then after that, what I like to do as well is have a book. Um, or you can call it content or whatever it might be. Obviously this comes up with errors because there's no, there's no links or anything, um, but we'll, we'll fix that in a second. So once that's done, right click on the first bullet, make template. I'll call this my book template. I don't want the parent block included, so I don't want this book heading. I only have that just so that then if I've got multiple templates, I can just simply group them up um, or collapse them and then just see what's, see what's on this page. So now with that done, what we'll do is we will create a new book and we will call it, we will call it thinking 
fast and slow. So as I don't have any other pages with this title, it will tell me, do I want to create a new page? Yep. And now what we'll do is we'll shift um, slash, type template, and then you can see the book template comes up or whatever name you gave to it. Click enter, and this already comes up with the meta, just so that I can fill the, uh, the properties in, and then the content. So as I'm going through, I might do some notes, I might do some annotations or anything like that. So what we'll do here is we'll put reading the image what I usually do I go here so from Goodreads quite easily just go to the image copy image address slot it in here where you've already got everything just realize a couple of extra spaces paste the link and you're good to go so that's the cover there the title is Thinking Fast and Slow. The author, Daniel. Link, again, similar sort of thing. You can just copy this. Start date, we'll do today. End date, we'll, just as a, an example, we'll choose next month. So what I did there, you can do slash command today, and that'll just bring up today's date. You can do tomorrow, or you can do date picker, and that'll just bring up this little calendar drop down. And year, get rid of that, and year we'll put 2022. And just put some text here. So that's created the page, um, thinking fast and slow. It's got the various different properties that we wanted in it, and then the content from the book. Now what we want to do, or what I found to be the easiest, is we'll do a new page and we will call it reading list. You can call this whatever you want, library, book list. Um, it doesn't make a big difference. So what we'll do, is we'll do double curly brackets, query, square brackets, books, and enter. And as you can see, our books come up. Okay, we've also got the template, uh, which might get slightly annoying. So what I found the easiest way to just get rid of this is if to just add a backslash here in the middle of the two brackets, that kind of breaks the link, and you can go back to the reading list and it's gone. And then what you can do is you can play around with this. So if you set it up in a table view, get rid of a few things. So you can get rid of the block. That's just a block title. So that was was called meta. You can then add that back. It goes to the end. And you can play around with the order as you wish. We'll keep the cover in. So you can see now how it comes up. So if we were to do that again, what we'll do is we'll just do a new page. And we'll call this the power of habit. We'll do slash template. Choose the template and enter. Just need to get rid of this. Status is to be read. The cover, similar sort of thing back here. Copy that, copy the image, the title is the power habit, to the link, the start tomorrow. We'll put an end and we'll assume that I'll read it in 2022. So that was it. So that's, you've got the book. Now if you go back to the reading list, you now have the two books. Let me just sort this out. To get it with the cover first, oops, you have to delete or 
untick all of them. Make sure you don't you leave one of them. Make sure you leave the cover if you want that first, because if I uncheck this, it resets. So that's just something that needs to be sorted out. So make sure you keep always one active. And then what you can do, once you've done that, so I want my cover first, I want the title and then the author, when I started it, when I ended it, and the year. So that's it, and then you can play around with first, last, ascending, descending order, alphabetical, alphabetical, and again, descending order. What you can also do with the query, see if this works. So we will just add an and. And we will put the guy's name. And we will close the bracket. So you can see with, with a simple and, you can start filtering. So that's just filtered on the author. What you can also do is you can filter on, let's say, the year. So if I do 2022, it should appear, the both books should appear. And you can just play around with, with that in a same sort of database type manner. So I hope you found that useful. And if you've got any questions, please do just let me know. Thanks very much for watching.